Hey, what's up, Cuzzies? It's Kiwi here, and today I'm going to be giving you my top six attributes to put on your weapons as requested by somebody on my last video on this game, which was top five characters for Warriors Auto T3 Ultimate. Now, I'm using Liu Bei and Semashur. They're they were level 1 basic weapons and I just um, put these 6 um, attributes on them and as you can see here again I started out as level 1 I'm at near to my level 82 right now and I'm doing pretty well because I'm completely surrounded by officers right now but yeah so that's how powerful these um, attributes are, especially when you use them together. They make an amazing combo. I don't know, I might do another top five, or depending on how many different combinations of attributes I can come up with. But yeah. So this guy and the other guy I'm using in this video were both level one, threw them into gauntlet mode, and played with them until Miasma level 100, and then I just stopped. But anyway, let's get into the uh, top six. Um, these aren't in any particular order, but yeah, we'll start off with my two favorites out of the lot that I think should be on every single weapon. Doesn't matter of who you're playing as or what weapon they have, these two should always be on there. And that's osmosis and absorption, because osmosis is going to refill your Musu and Absorption is going to refill your health and it does this by the amount of damage you put out on the enemies so it works like this you could either do massive amount of damage to a small group or a small amount of damage to a large group and you'll get the same results because it accumulates across the amount of people you hit so the larger the group, the more potential you have of getting more health and more musu. Agility is good because it allows you to get to your charge attacks quicker, which is how you use Osmosis and Absorption. It only works on charge and exotacks. Uh, exotacks are basically just special, um, unique charge attacks. So that's why I have agility in here, and it also yeah, just allows you to attack quicker. Um, might I like this one because it gives you more damage on your charge and X attacks, which will give you more health and more musu back. And wind slayer is the next one, which works the same as might. How it adds more damage because. Wind and Slay both do 6% damage to an enemy's health regardless of how much health they have and you put them together that makes it 12% also Wind has the ability to break through enemy blocks and Slay has the potential to instantly kill weaker enemies and last but surely not least because like I said this is in no particular order Try Element element is just something else to add to the damage to allow you to get more musu and more absorption because with these uh, abilities here these attributes if you use them in a combination what it does is it allows you to gain full musu and full health with every charge tech you pop off Unless of course it's like a, you're trying to do it on like three enemies and it's not going to be enough enemies for you to do enough damage to get full moose and full um, health back. But that's only if you're at a high level in Gauntlet mode now, I'm talking about the um, Miasma level. I don't really play story mode so I don't know how this translates into Chaos mode, whether or not that is chaos mode once you get to 100 I'll test that out later on but yes I've gone off track so let's get back to it so trilement has 
three elements to it. It has fire, which lowers the defense of the enemy you attack, which will allow you to do more damage, thus giving you back more Musu and more health. You have Bolt, which works like Wind and Slay, where it does 6% um, damage to the enemy's health, as well as a chance to stun enemies. And then you have Ice, which has the ability to freeze an enemy and allow you to attack them and they can't do anything back. So yes, that is my top six um, abilities, attributes, whatever you want to call them. They're best used together. This is just a little combination I threw together that will work for any character in the game. Doesn't matter what character it is, because they all have charge attacks, they all have missile attacks, albeit some fucking missile attacks are stupid as fuck. Like Jian Wei's, I hate his fucking stupid fuck he's got maybe new sort of tech. But anyway, who cares about that? Yes, so this will work with any character unless you're using Dan Gian Wei because why are you using Gian Wei? He's shit. Okay, so now that we've established that Gian Wei is shit, let's get into some honorable mentions. Now the first two are going to be Destruction, which adds more damage to your Musu attacks, which is good if you're using the combination I gave you before because you're going to be getting Musu with every charge attack. So you're going to be able to pop off Musu attacks quite often, like pretty much after every combo, you're going to be able to or Musu attack which is really good. Also Verity is good. Verity works the same as um, Destruction, it's going to give you more damage on your Musu attack but what Verity does is it turns every Musu attack into a true Musu attack which basically means it's going to put all the elements on your Musu attack so that's fire, wind, lightning, all that good stuff all on your Musu attack giving you more damage and last but not least Brilliance now Brilliance puts the um, the elements on your basic attack so that's your square attacks which is really cool if you spam a lot of square like you don't really use Musu or charge attacks and you just like to hit that square button it's, it's amazing for that but as soon as you start using things like Musu, switch attacks, um, special attacks, stuff like that, anything that drains your Musu, it's going to render Brilliance useless because you need full Musu to activate it. Now there's a, another one called Wrath, which you need um, full health and it'll give you the same effect as Brilliance does but I don't like it because it's easier to control how much Musu you have than it is to be able to control how much healthy you have so that's why I'd pick Brilliance over that but anyway yeah that's my top six um, attributes, abilities, stuff you put on your weapon to make it fancy but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope you've found it useful, if you did that's awesome, if you didn't, too bad, and also before I forget, please put your top 5, your top 10s, request some top 5, some top 10s, and put them all down below in the comment section, so yeah, please put them down below, I will stop rambling right now, and I will let you go, alright cuzzies, see you.